In today's video, we're going to be looking at a must-have tool that has virtually unlimited possibilities. Hey friends, welcome back to the Home Studio Simplified channel. This channel exists to simplify the complexities of a home studio and to help you make professional sounding music in a less than professional space. So whether you're just starting out or you've got some fader time under your belt, this channel will help you get more accomplished when you sit down to do what you love. So question, what if there was a magic tool that would allow you to learn the various parts of a song without all the frustration of the other elements getting in the way? What if you're a teacher that would like to share with your students the specific elements of a song with clarity and unparalleled separation, or maybe a music producer that would love to sample certain aspects of a song? Well, all that and a whole lot more can be accomplished with an awesome tool known as Moises. So I've been playing around with this app now for a little over a month, and I have to say that Moises is a must-have tool for those who want to practice by either playing along with the artists that you already know and love, or even the songs that you've already wrote and recorded yourself. Likewise, it's an awesome addition into the arsenal of a DJ, a music producer, or anyone else who would like to separate specific tracks in a song with a high level of quality. Now, aside from the obvious reasons why someone might be interested in this awesome little tool, there are also some other reasons that I've personally used it for with good results. For instance, recently I had a client that sent me a song that they had recorded years ago. Now, they wanted to record certain aspects of that song due to having better gear and a better understanding of how to use it, which I'm happy to say, by the way, they learned here on this channel. Now this is where the individual lost hope because the guitar and the vocals were actually sung together and recorded on the same track. So it seemed as if they would have to start from scratch. However, thanks to this handy little tool, I was able to separate the guitars from the vocals and preserve the original vibe of that vocal track while allowing them to record a new acoustic guitar track seamlessly and without any of the unwanted artifacts that I've heard in other programs. Now Moises already sounds absolutely incredible as we're gonna hear here in just a minute but they're also committed to improving their algorithms every single month, as well as adding new features with a monthly update schedule. In fact, here are some of the cool features that I believe are worth mentioning. Now, thanks to Moises, you can add click tracks to any song. Yes, you heard me correctly. With the world's first smart metronome, you can generate a click that will follow any BPM variation. Another cool feature is the ability to change the music playback speed without compromising the pitch. So for the teacher out there who has an eager student that wants to learn that guitar solo, or for personal reasons, maybe you want to learn that guitar solo, you can now master every nuance of that song at your own pace. Here's another cool aspect of that though. Although slowing things down won't change the pitch, you can still control the pitch if you'd like. So no more struggling to reach higher notes during your practice or your karaoke party. Now you can actually quickly shift the original key to match your vocal range in any song. And for those of us who are not classically trained musicians or have golden ears, there's also an on-screen representation of the chords that are being played. Likewise, changing the pitch will automatically display the right chords. Now this makes Moises a remarkable tool for anyone who sings, plays instruments, or doesn't have a capo. Now another cool feature of this is they actually have Sherlock Holmes built in under the hood. So how many times have you been sent a file that just says Rough Mix 135 and you're thinking to yourself, what does all this mean? Well, Moises will even detect the song key, which will allow you to share it with your band members and get everyone practicing in the same key before your big performance. Now with all of these features at your fingertips, transposing songs, learning songs, or jamming along with songs has never been easier. Now question of the day is, with all the awesomeness that this program is capable of, what are some of the ways that you're gonna be using it? Leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. All right, so on the screen before us now, we have what you would see if you were to log into Moises under a premium account. Now you can tell that this is a premium account because it is denoted by the word premium just underneath the name of the account here. As you can see, you have a couple of different options up at the top here. You have a library, which will be files that you have uploaded, and you have a discover section. Now, this is a really cool section because this is where the team at Moises actually showcases content creators and other individuals that use their product and tag it with Made with Moises. Now, over here on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see you have also some different options. You have an upload section, you have in your library settings, all media, track separation, and mastering. Now, when you upload tracks into Moises, it's gonna place them in one of these three categories. Let's go ahead and start by uploading some tracks now. You can see that when I click the upload button, I have a couple of different options here, track separation and mastering. I'm going to select track separation, and from this screen, you can tell that you can either upload it from your files or from a URL link. You can also drag and drop it into this box here. 
Likewise, it gives you a list of supported codecs. Okay, I'm gonna drag and drop my file into this box here. And as you can see, it's already given me the file size and the duration of this particular song. And now I'll just simply hit next. Now in keeping with what I've already stated previously in this video, they're continually updating this. In fact, after I just got on here today to use this for this video, they've already added another new feature. You'll see down here at the bottom, I can actually split this into five different tracks, vocals, drums, bass, strings, and other. Now it is notable to mention that some of these options are not available unless you have a premium account. Now the song that I've chosen does actually have all of these elements, so I might as well go ahead and choose it, right? And now I'm going to hit upload. Wow, okay folks, that was real time. I was not speeding anything up. It literally just did that that fast. Now, as you might expect, it is gonna take a little bit longer for the track separation to take place. Okay, so after having sped that up just a little bit, it actually took about three minutes for all that to take place. And here is the cool part. So now that I have this here uploaded into Moises, I can simply click on this file. And as you can see, all of the tracks are now split, separated for me, and it's done all this automatically. I didn't have to choose what was vocals, what was drums, bass, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and see exactly how well this is working. I'm gonna click the play button up here, the ever so alluring play button that is obviously wanting me to press it. The darkness of this present hour is ever looming. The pressure to perform is all consuming. We bear our souls just to get a light and filter out these scars inside. Remember Wow, okay, so I have to say, were there some artifacts? Yes, was it something that I could live with? Absolutely, especially given the best case scenarios for using this, I could definitely see that this would work just fine for trying to learn a bass line. For instance, I was able to solo out this bass and heard nothing else but the bass. Likewise, these drums were very narrowly affected. I mean, take a listen to this. So if you wanted to learn the drum part, that would be no problem. And if after you did learn the drum part, you wanted to extract it from the mix, you could just simply hit the mute button on that track. Certain, maybe if I give enough, somehow I can buy your love. Burning my candle at both ends, and I'm wearing the sickness it. that this world is going through. 
opened up my eyes to see the truth. And when you find Wow, I am I'm speechless. This is absolutely amazing. The implications for using this thing for teaching, for learning, man alive. This is absolutely amazing. I love the fact too that down here at the bottom we've seen what key it's in, what the BPMs are, and also as it's playing through the song, it's actually telling you down here what the chords are. That's crazy. So if you're going to be playing along with a song, you want to learn it easily. This thing's got you covered. If you want to create your own backing tracks to it, you already know what key it's in and what BPMs it's in. Absolutely amazing. So now when we go back to our start screen here, we can see that in the library section where all media is, now that track is there. When we go to track separation, we can also see that it is here. When we go to mastering, however, there's still nothing here. Let's upload a track for mastering. Okay, so I've uploaded a track for mastering. This was the first place winner from the Studio Without Walls song contest that we did in concert with BandLab and IK Multimedia. So this song was not mastered, but it was sent to us at its best mixed point. That being said, this song could actually benefit from being mastered. So let's hear what the algorithm of Moises can do to this. So after hitting next, it actually gave me a few different options underneath a preferences tab, which is found here. It's allowing me to put a limiter on it or take it off. And it also is asking me what I would like my desired loudness level to be. And from the drop down menu, I can actually select different loudness levels based off of what they are on those aggregators. Likewise, I can even set this to a custom loudness. I'm going to go ahead with YouTube, SoundCloud, and Tidal. Negative 14 is about my go-to anyway. And now I have a bit depth option. You have 16, 24, and 32-bit. I'm going to go ahead and leave this at 24-bit, as yet again, that's sort of my standard. And next, I have reference tracks to upload. The cool thing about this is you don't have to have those tracks even on your computer. You can either take them from your files if they are on your computer, or from a URL link, or even search for a song. Now this song is in the genre of punk rock, so I'm actually going to use uh, Green Day in this case as one of the reference tracks. Okay, now I'm going to hit upload. Yet again, super fast to upload. And now we just have the waiting process here where it's actually in the queue waiting to be mastered. While it's in the mastering process, we'll go ahead and take a look at a couple of other things. You'll notice that there are three dots here at the end of each of these tracks. This will allow me to delete it from the library or even rename it. And down here at the bottom, you'll see that you can get the Moises app straight from the desktop version. And it's going to tell you exactly what are the additional features that you find on the Moises app itself. Let's go ahead and listen to the mastered version of Connor Cronin's 180. So as you can see by clicking on this screen, it actually gives me my reference track down here, which one that I used. The limiter was set to on. My LUFS was negative 14 and the bit depth is 24. Now I can actually toggle back and forth between the original and the mastered as well while it's playing to see exactly how it's going to sound. All right, let's take a listen.
Okay, so a couple of different things that I heard there. For one, I've used some online mastering services like this before, and they just completely obliterated the original, and this did not do that. In fact, it actually preserved a lot of the dynamics, but yet still kept it within that negative 14 LUFS. That's pretty impressive. Likewise, I also heard that it sounded as if the kick and the bass got a little bit punchier and a little bit more separated within the mix. They found a little bit of a better place to dwell. Yet again, that's a pretty cool precedent to set because like a lot of the other services that I've used, they usually just smear the bass together with the kick drum and you end up losing all of that low end and punch and definition. Now, one of the cons from this, I definitely heard that there was a little bit of stereo width that was lost in the master that was actually there in the original. However, it wasn't enough for me to say that this is no longer a viable option. In fact, if you were going to submit a song to the monthly song contest on my channel, this would actually be a really good way to submit it as a mastered version, at least to get it up to industry standards before submitting it. And I could wholeheartedly say that it would not destroy whatever hard work that you've already done beforehand. So kudos to Moises for making an awesome product here with an awesome mastering algorithm built in as well. Now, although this is subjective because it was only based off of one track, at the end of the day, I still think that it's very impressive how far we've come along with technology. All right, let's go ahead and check out the crossroads and the five different tracks that it's split here. Let's uh, start by muting the vocals. This thing, yeah. D minor, 143 BPMs, giving you the chords down here. Absolutely amazing. So let's take a listen to this last one. This is called Protestant. Now this one is not as sparsely populated as the first two. The very first one that we listened to was the one that I thought, well, this is really going to put it through its paces because it's very densely populated. Uh, in fact, I think there was like 70-something tracks on that whenever I was mixing it and producing all of that. This one here has a, a lot less going on in the mix, so maybe Moises won't have as hard of a time with this one as it did with those densely populated mixes. However, I have to say, <laughs> man alive, even with those densely populated mixes, this thing is a beast. All right, let's give this a listen. I put my tongue until it's bleeding I've held my peace for far too long 
Mute the vocals. Wow. Then if you think I'm wrong, yeah. don't try to silence me no longer. Cause in the end, we all want to be saying you. Your mistreatment. That is crazy. So this right here brings up a really good best use case scenario. I haven't played this song in forever. And I recorded this probably two or three years ago. So for me to take this song and say, hey, I'd actually like to incorporate this into a set list at a gig that I might have this weekend, it would be really hard for me to actually remember all of the chords that were being played. So not only does this tell me here at the bottom what chords are being played, but I can also listen to what were the nuances and how I was playing it, which if you're a guitarist, you know as well, if you haven't played something in a long time, it's almost like riding a bike. The second you get the nuances back and you get the chord changes back, the rest of it just sort of falls into place. And then eventually I'd be like, okay, I got it. So yet again, if you were going to be, you know, pulling some of the songs that you've written out of the archives and you wanted to get them out and start playing again, this would be an awesome tool for you to go back and relearn even some of your older songs that you haven't played in a while. All right, for this last example, we're going to see what Moises can do on a vocal that's just more dry. It's not as heavily affected as the previous vocals that we've listened to, as this is more of a folk song. Now, this song is called Found by Kayla Patrick, and the multi-tracks for this song are included in the Ultimate Cakewalk by Bandlab tutorial course. So if you'd like to get your hands on these multi-tracks and mix this song for yourself, add it to your portfolio, you can find that in the link included in the description of this video. Got these split up into five tracks here. Let's see how Moises does on these vocals. You don't know how to use it Always letting strangers Take it and abuse it And you're so used to getting hurt Now it doesn't phase you Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this, there's a link included in the description of this video where it'll take you to the website to go and download that today. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this, click the link in the bio to learn more. Now, if you'd like to get your hands on this, click the link in the bio to be magically transported to their website. Once there, you're going to find out that there is a mobile version as well as a browser-based version. Now, each one is great in its own respect, with the desktop version having a few more things that the mobile doesn't and vice versa. Now, here's the cool part. They both integrate seamlessly with one another. So whatever you might be doing on the road, you can pick up right where you left off in the studio. And folks, here's where it gets downright crazy. Moises is free. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's completely 100% free. Now there is a premium version that has a monthly payment option for some extra bells and whistles. That said, you can even opt in for a yearly payment that can save you even more money by choosing that option. Now to put that in perspective, the monthly fee is $3.99 charged to your credit card monthly and the yearly fee is 
charged to your credit card only once a year. Okay, okay, I hear you. So what does the premium offer give you that the free version doesn't? Well, I'm glad that you asked. Now, for one, it gives you unlimited uploads. That's right, you can upload unlimited amounts of songs into the cloud. Likewise, it has forever file storage, which will allow you to store them in the cloud indefinitely. And thirdly, premium users can extract more instruments, namely piano and keyboard. And you have an extended file size, which allows you to process files up to 20 minutes with track separation. The premium version is also faster, allowing you to process more without waiting to get your file processed. And premium unlocks the ability to mix your song in the cloud and export the file straight from the cloud. And lastly, premium users get access to the mastering feature that's found within Moises, which will allow you to download mastered WAV files. So whether you're a musician, a music producer, or a DJ, if you're interested in investing in yourself by signing up for the premium version, or you just want to try it out for free, click that link that's provided in the description of the video to check it out. So if you're a musician, a music producer, or a DJ, and you're interested in investing in yourself by signing up for the premium plan, or you just want to try out the free version, click the link in the bio to learn more. All right, folks, that's all I've got for you today. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber already and click the bell icon so that every time I go live once a week or I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Remember, we can dream alone. We can even create alone, but together we can achieve so much more.